All right, so just like anybody, uh, I had a problem with my transmission, like I just said before, and I wanted to put the Lucas transmission stop slip in there. Uh, maybe that'll fix it up. So I ended up taking some fluid out and putting it in this whiskey bottle here. All right, but I want to show you something very interesting with this light. Hard to see, right? All you can see is the light. We bring our bottle over. And the light's gone. You can't even see light through this liquid. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the transmission filter. Okay, that's pretty much it. I have the pan gasket right here. Okay, and I have two bottles of automatic trans fluid. I'll try to include right here the fluid capacity. It's right around three quarts. All right, so I got two quarts here. And this is just under a quart, so I'll probably have to add a little bit of a third bottle. Um, so I'll add one, two, a little bit of a third, and then I'll probably add that as the final quart. All right, just to give it as much as I possibly can. Um, but let's go ahead and put it in. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drain the fluid, of course, to change that filter. So I'm just going to get a 14 millimeter socket on here. Look at that. Black as could be. Transmission fluid should be red. Okay, so after it drains out, you're going to want to take out these bolts here. Okay, so you got these. There's a few on the back, a few on the other side, and a few in the front. So you have a line right here. This is uh, your transmission dipstick, or dip tube rather. Um, there's a bolt up top that you have to take out in order to take this whole pan out. All right. And it's black and it smells really really bad uh, so this train is probably toast so let's hope we can save it all right so we got the pan out and I'm just gonna have to scrape off this old gasket sealant here and inside of here you have magnets okay now if you look at them You'll see, this one's got a lot, of, there's a lot of metal, metal shavings on it, which isn't good, it's your train's coming apart, but uh, let me clean this gasket up, and then we'll replace the filter. Alright, so now I'm taking this filter out, uh, I already took out the center bolt. Got another one up there, a third one, and then you got a fourth one here, so you got four bolts all together. Okay, so now that uh, we installed the cover back over the transmission filter, we installed the drain plug, 
and now we're all set to fill it. Like I said, I'm going to be adding two quarts of regular automatic trans fluid. Okay, so I've added two quarts. Now, when I took the fluid out in the pan, it seems like uh, it's more than three quarts. Uh, it seems, looks like it's more like three and a half, four quarts. So I'm just going to add this third. This third quart is going to be, even though it's not a full quart, it's only 710 milliliters and a quart for the other jugs are 946, 43, something like that. Uh, so I'm just going to add this for the third quart, uh, and then tomorrow morning I'll come out and I'll check the fluid level when it's cold, see what it's at. I'll probably have to run it and do whatever they specify. But this is going to be my third quart, and if I ever need any, I'm just going to add regular transmission fluid. All right, so I can't actually move this thing yet. Uh, the brake caliper seized on me in the front here. Uh, so I won't be able to test out the trans uh, pills and stuff like that. Uh, but the level is good. I just checked it so the two quarts and the Lucas did it uh, to get it back to where it should be with the change. I was just having a problem with uh, like the timing of the shift. I'll see if I can stop long enough to get these people to get out of my way.